Thanks for tuning in guys. So as promised, I have finally made a video of the braiding pattern I use for basic crochet braid installations. So I'm just going to talk you through what I'm doing. So right now I'm just doing a braid at the perimeter of the head and it's going to follow around the back of the head. Uh, the reason why I do a braid going across the back and not just all going straight back is because what will happen is the hair will begin to pull which will, can lead to breakage. braid on the other side of the head as well and once you get towards the bottom you'll see this in a minute I'm going to conjoin the other plait to this one to make one big plait So once you get to the middle of the braid, you're going to stop and then you're going to take the plait from the other braid, conjoin the two and then you're going to braid them together so it makes one plait. The reason why I do this is because it creates a nice flat foundation which will prevent bulkiness when we install our crochet braids. Okay, here I'm doing what I like to call my scissors technique and you'll see why in a second and I basically use my scissors technique for my patterns. You can choose to have as many patterns as you want in your crochet braid and pattern but for this uh, particular style I'm just doing one pattern and it's a side pattern. Okay, so you're going to take a small section of hair then you're going to part it horizontally and then you're going to split the section in two vertically as well. Uh, general tip, the smaller the section is, the closer together your parting will be, which will be better as it grows out because it tends to space out. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to braid the section of hair that's furthest away from the other braid and once you get to the middle section right here, you're going to cross it over in a diagonal and then connect it to the other half and then you're going to do the same for the other side so that it creates a scissors-like shape afterwards. Mm -hmm. 